guys how is everyone today I just did a video for y'all and it was so bad I just decided to totally redo it the dog bark the and well I'll show it to you the one I did I did this one for my husband but I'm so scatterbrained and just not with it right now these are my corners and I just wasn't happy with showing y'all a journal made with corners like this. See how this one's gapped? This one's fine. This one's fine. But these two bottom ones are gapped. I don't know. The whole video was just messed up. I decided I'd redo it. Um, and what we're doing today is making a uh, junk journal out of cereal box. So this is the back side of a cereal box. And I'm going to take my cardboard trimmer. I have a trimmer for cardboard and a trimmer for um, paper. This is my cardboard trimmer. And I'm going to try to get a straight edge down on this side over here. It's kind of hard for me, it is anyway, to get a straight edge on these cereal boxes. I'll turn it around and I'm going to try to get another straight edge. Right here where the fold is, is what I'm trimming off. I want this flat piece right in the middle. that fit that won't quite fit in my trimmer so I'm gonna have to trim off a little bit more okay that fits barely just right we're gonna cut this flap over here off I like to start at the uh, top and go down towards me I'm pulling the trimmer or the blade towards me instead of pulling it, pushing it away. It's easier to pull than it is to push. Let's see how straight this looks on my board here. Looks pretty good looks pretty good looks real good okay what I want out of this is a uh, five by seven journal that's the size journals that I like to make so I'm gonna put my ruler here and I'm gonna mark it at seven and I'm gonna trim that off and then I want a five inch wide journal with a one inch gusset so I need a uh, that's 11 inches, right? I'm a little slow because I've been in a lot of pain the last four days, and I'm just really slow, so y'all have to excuse me and bear with me. Um, but yeah, 10 and another inch is 11, so I want 11 inches. Let's mark it down here. Okay, now let's trim this down to 10 by 11. I think I just took my marker. I did. I just took my uh, 11 inch mark off. Trimmed it right away. There we go. Now what we need to do is put this in our Martha Stewart scoreboard and score it at five 
and 6. You have to score it pretty hard. What do you know? I did it without getting out of uh, track. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Fold it and score it. And there's our little very done, very well done. I did it really good this time. Sometimes I get them off a little bit. They're not good and even. It just frustrates me to no end trying to get them even. But that one turned out really good. Okay. So now what we want to do is line it with some paper. And I've chosen this Country Road that I got from Hobby Lobby. It's by Paper Studio. And I think I'm going to take this very first sheet here. Let's look at it. I might want something else. I love this shabby, weathered wood look. Really pretty. I love this. Those two go together for real? Not really. They don't look bad together though, do they? Got red in it. I was thinking about this for the outside and this for the inside. That's pretty. Love that blue. Don't like the yellow. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use two pieces of this top one here. It's pink. And I'm going to take one piece of it. And this was 5 by 11, right? Yeah. See, you guys, I'm going to have to double check myself all day. No. This is 7 by 11. Okay. So we want to cut our paper 7 by 11. And this is going to be the outside piece. So I want to make sure that I get this on the front corner. If I can. Let's see. Yeah. So I want my 7 inch mark up here. And my 11 inch mark over here. Oop, wrong trimmer. Gotta have the paper trimmer for this. Okay, so we're going to do our 11 inch mark here. I think I'm going to have to put Jill in her bed. Every time I do a video, she wants to cry and carry on. And there's our mark for our 7. And don't throw your scraps away. You can use those as pockets, um, banners, tags, all kinds of stuff. So don't throw your little scraps away. And I cut that wrong. Sure as the world, I cut that wrong. Oh, let's see. Okay, that's all right. We can use this one for the inside. That's what we're going to use this one for is the inside. We're going to cut this one one inch bigger all the way around so that we can fold the edges over and, and paste it down to the back, okay? Does that make sense? I'll show you. Okay, so again, let me see. I want this to fit like that. So I want it to be, let's cut the uh, 11 inch side first, which would be this side. 
so I want 12 inches. That's 12 inches already. So we got our 12, and then we need 8. That's only going to give us a half an inch. Half an inch to curl over. I don't know if that's enough. I don't know if that's enough. Yeah, that's barely going to be enough. So I'm going to go ahead and do one inch over here on this side because that's all I've got on this side. And I want the corners to match up. So I'm only going to do an inch over here. So we're going to do, um, we're going to do eight inches. Okay. Got to grab my, um, paintbrush, sorry, just ran off on y'all. Had to grab my paintbrush. Okay, we're just going to glue this right down to the top of this cereal box with Mod Podge. Mod Podge gives a little bit, has a little bit of elasticity in it. Did I say that right? I'm just going to cover the back. We had a really bad storm last night, a really bad storm. Um, schools are closed because of all the power lines down. I'm surprised I've got electricity. Usually when we have a storm, mine's the first one to go. I've got a lot of tree limbs down in the yard. Okay. And then we're going to stick this. Try to center it. In fact, I think it would be easier if I turned it over. I think I'd be able to see what I was doing a little bit better. Let me make sure I'm putting this on the right side. Yeah. There we go. Just like that. I like to have about an inch to fold over. It makes it a lot easier. But since this is all we've got, this is what we're going to go with. All right. Now, the way you get a good mitered corner is you take this. And you want to, just an eighth of an inch, almost an eighth of an inch to that board. I'll show you. See how you can still see a little bit of paper hanging over the edge, the corner of that board, the cereal box? You want about that much. And I just eyeball it. I don't measure anything. They have a tool just for this. But I just eyeball it. Okay. And that's all you do. Fold these up. Get them ready to glue down. And I think before I do that, I'm going to bend my box. Do it real slowly so you don't crack your paper. Or hopefully you won't crack your paper. I crack mine all the time. It's so frustrating. Just do it real, real slow. I'm doing mine extra slow because, like I said, I always crack my paper. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if I don't buy good enough paper or what it is. Okay, that one didn't crack. Let's see if we can do the other side. Okay, we got it. No cracking. All right. Good job. All right, let's paint this down. Paint it down. Let's glue it down. Okay. 
anything. And those corners should come together pretty nicely. They do. Look how nice those are. A lot better than the first journal a video I did for you. Much better. I know there's glue under there. I just got to stick it down. So there you go. And then we're just going to take this piece and put it right over the top like that. But I'm going to cut this piece down about a quarter of an inch all the way around. So I want about, I guess, a half an inch. I'm going to take a half an inch off all sides. Let's see. or half an inch off two sides, I should say. Not that side. We didn't get our pretty picture, though, on the front. This was the piece that had the flowers on it. I should have cut another sheet of paper. Oh, yes, we did, too. We got one. Okay. All right. Good deal. I was thinking we didn't, because we messed this one up. Alright, now I'm going to glue this one down right in the center just like that. Let's put our glue on the paper though. Sorry about that. It was my phone. It's probably going to ring again, so I'm going to try to hurry and finish this up. This is all we lack, you guys, is just putting this piece on there, and, and that's it. That's We're finished. That's how easy it is to make a journal out of a, out of a cereal box. Okay, bring this back over here. I'm gonna turn it right side up. I think it's right side up, ain't it? Yep. And we're gonna put this right down here in the middle. And push it down. And we are done. We are literally done. Just like that, we've got a journal cover. All you gotta do is fill it up. I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.